What's going on guys? Brian with Buffalo Beer Reviews. I have taken a little hiatus from the videos lately uh, due to work and school and uh, life. <laughs> so uh, my first beer back this week is going to be something I've done before on the, on the channel. Uh, something that seems to be a, a really great seller and something that people can just grasp a hold of the concept. And that is a beer from Stone, and it's the Enjoy By 1225-17. Enjoy By Christmas. Uh, Stone who might be a little bit on the bigger side of a craft beer, you know, brewery style. Uh, is still committed to, you know, this concept of drinking fresh. And purposely not making beers, um, you know, last forever. They want you to drink it fresh. They want it to go, you know, they want it to go out of style or go out of date. You know what I mean? So for this beer, for Enjoy by 1225.17, it's pretty cool. So it's a double IPA. It's got an alcohol by volume of 9.4% with an IBU of 90. And right from their little description on their website, it said, um, for this version of Stone's Enjoy uh, by IPA, we thought we don't always have a filter, so why should our beer? By skipping a step and letting the devastatingly fresh, golden-hued double IPA go unfiltered, this beer takes on a hazy appearance, and its peach and tropical fruit hop aroma are intensified. So, though it may sound like it, this misstep was no misstep. Like other IPAs in the series, this version is brewed specifically not to last. Sounds awesome. Uh, flavor profile, tropical, intensely hoppy, you know what I mean? And uh, their featured hops I uh, found on another webpage, Nugget, Super Galena, Simcoe, Delta, Target, Amarillo, Cascade, Galaxy, Citra, Nelson Savon, and um, Montaka and Helga. Like, what? <laughs> right? What? So, um, I think the last one I did a video on was maybe 420, even though I believe I had one for the 4th of July um, enjoy by. But I was out at the cottage and we were in no shape to film a video that weekend. You know what I mean? Anyway, again, this is the Stone Enjoy By 1225-17. Close to 2017 uh, variation. It's kind of cool being able to to see these stone enjoy buys uh, and you're like well I remember when I had the 2014 and I remember when I had the 2013 and all that good stuff so let's see what this looks like oh yeah hi Stan puppet dogs here hi mr. buddy I love you my great Dane Lord Stanley Every now and then he peeks his head in for the uh, beer reviews. I know. I know. <laughs> like he doesn't ever get pet. I know. Come here. Time out. Come here. Come here. You good boy. Huh? Are you a good boy? Yes, you are. You're a good boy. You're my big boy. Yeah. Anyway. All right. So this has this wicked. It is. Um, unfiltered. It is an unfiltered IPA, um, and you can see it. I mean, why not? This isn't rocket science, guys. Uh, they tell you it's an unfiltered IPA. If it's not crystal clear, they're not lying to you. It's not super hazy, but it's hazy. You can tell it's unfiltered. It's got a little bit of some uh, sediment floating around. Even better. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm-mmm. Yeah, it's it really does have a little bit more of that New England presence than I was expecting. Um, and uh, while I'm at it, it's got that super premium head that you, if you've drank Stone before, you've come to love and appreciate, and we love it. Um, yeah, you get those wonderfully, you know, potent tropical notes, danky tropical notes. Mm. And that is all your Citra and, you know, Cascade and all that great stuff. 
There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's 12 different hop varieties in this beer. And if I told you I was going to sit here and like be able to distinguish all of those, that would be complete bullshit. Anyway, that's enough of me talking. Let's see how this beer tastes. I'm thinking it's probably going to be pretty good. Mm. It's, I mean, it smells amazing. All right. Well, you're definitely going to taste this alcohol in this beer. I, I wasn't sure how that was going to translate with the alcohol by volume, with the, the IBUs, with those the aroma you get that you got kind of get a little stiff jab as you're going in to the beer you get that little you know jab jab punch you get you get the little jab as you're coming in right but it's not so bad of a blow because you have these really nice um, flavors that go along with it you get a little bit of that alcoholy jab, and then you get a soft hook uh, with all of the tropical flavors. And I'm telling you what, it's it's really good. And it's but it's a smooth ride. It's not a bumpy. But you get an alcohol, and then you're not you're trailing down. You know. Hmm. I can see where that um, IBU rating comes from, though. It's pretty easy. Uh, I'm getting, yeah, like a lot of these double IPAs, like a lot of these um, sort of unfiltered IPAs, I'm getting a lot of that that really concentrated um, rind sort of, of flavors to it. It's, it's really not difficult to pick out the orange or like a tangerine sort of, of flavors. It's really not hard to pick out those those tropical notes. Um, but on the same end, with that alcohol presence, you, you get this spicy vibe to it. And, uh, you know, it may be a characteristic of one of these other, you know, eight or nine other hops that are in it. You know what I mean? Um, you, you can get a little bit on the piney end of it, but I think it's just for the greenery aroma of, of the beer. I don't really think it plays such a pivotal role in the flavor of it. Do you know what I mean? Hmm. But I think with the whole line of, uh, of enjoy buys, this enjoy by 1225 17, the unfiltered IPA, is right in line with what they want to do. Um, I don't think a beer like this has a long shelf life. And if you mean for it to be drank fresh, this is a perfect beer to drink fresh. It really is. Mm. So I'd say this beer really isn't so much on the heavily bodied side of beers, but more on that really stiff presence of alcohol side of the beers. Um, maybe a little bit of a kick at the end is hidden by, by the alcohol or by the hops or by the malts, but you're going to taste a lot of alcohol in this beer. Sip after sip for all 22 ounces of the bottle. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm getting a good amount of like a malty mouth coating uh, aftertaste. Uh, which is not unpleasant, but it's there. I, I think with the way that this thing is made, I, it's probably an inevitability that you're going to get some sort of aftertaste with all of the stuff that's going on with it. I don't think they've made any attempt to hide what it is. Um, it's a 9.4 and it's a 90 IBU and it's a screw you get a designated driver home kind of beer and that's it so um that's it for me guys
This is The Stone. Enjoy by 1225.17. I hope you guys, uh, you know, you might see it out at the stores. You might think, well, do I like it? Do I not? Maybe I'll take a look before I spend, you know, nine bucks on a bottle of beer. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and it was helpful. I enjoyed making the video and um, I hope you guys subscribe, hit the thumbs up and uh, leave me a comment. So until the next time guys, leave me a thumbs up or a comment. I totally appreciate it. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.